You don't give me that look. I happen to be a more caring mother than most. Where's my bed? I put it in storage. I guess you'll just have to decide which Lucille you want to spend your nights with. Now there's someone who could have used a good mother. Whore! And we didn't want to bring up those bad old memories. Besides, this place already has enough bad ones for me. My mother died here. Job was born here. Maybe it's because I went off my postpartum medication. You were still taking that? You had Buster 32 years ago. And that's how long I've been depressed about him. Actually, I did go off it in the early 90s, but I didn't like what happened to me. Claiming she could take it no more, the young mother released the emergency brake, allowing her car to roll backwards into the nearby lake. Good for her. I must have gained three pounds. You might want to let that fire go out before you stick your face in it. Oh, that's funny, because I was going to say you might want to lean away from that fire since you're soaked in alcohol. Mine was better. As Michael was forcibly taking his son out to the cabin, Lucille was ready to forcibly throw hers out. Well, that was a freebie. I'm not helping anyone with anything. I came here to tell you that my son and I... <laughs> I want you to help me break up your brother and his girlfriend. Well, I'm all for that. We just got to find him first. He's locked on the balcony. Oh, you meant Buster. I thought you were talking about Job. No, I will not have Buster dating my best friend. Who is it? Uh, your son. What? I was looking for Buster. He's not here. Well, what are you doing? And do you want to go out? Or... Why are you trying to get me out of the house? I just thought that we could hang out. Lucille was suspicious that Job was up to some sort of power grab. Jean Parmesan, Lucille Bluth. My son is trying to get me out of my house. I think he may be up to something. Oh, hold on. That's probably him. We have got to start being nicer. I'm starting right now. Buster, the party's not for you anymore. Oh, okay. It's a welcome Rita party. I know where she works. We can pick her up and surprise her. You're so right. This is better than a party for me. Come on, grow a pair. You're saying I play favorites, you're wrong. I love all my children equally. I don't care for Joe. And keep your ball joke to yourself, Andrew Dice Clay. But tensions had mounted. So you can see why I need the testimony of someone who's not a hot mess. You're a hot mess! You're a hot mess! Oh, that's funny. I meant a matter of L and D, life and death. What is the matter of life and death? Buster's jaw clicks when he eats. I think it's what's driving his friends away. I sent him to Canada for an operation. You know, it, it just, I can't, I can't deal with the fact that my family is falling apart now that I really need you. Oh, Michael, honey. I want to cry so bad. But I don't think I can spare the moisture. Which is how Lucille thought of a way. Can you make one of those from a wallet photo? To let Buster know the authorities weren't after him and get a little Let's digging. Let's go. Sugar food. It's his own fault. What kind of diet is this? It's too much meat. I want all of you off this immediately. Except you. Anyway, it's a party, and I want the whole family there. We're having a party? No. Oh, my God. You still doing breakfast burritos? This family has got to stick together. I don't want Joe coming to this dinner. Good idea. Guess where he's been getting his money. Is he following people to their cars again? He's a waiter. He is? Well, that's great. No, it's not great. Well, am I the only one that thinks that this family is finally starting to become sympathetic and relatable? I mean, that's what people want to see, you know? Lindsay's taking care of the house. Oh, I forgot about that. Tell the housewife she's not coming either. Michael, I need you to do something about my son. I totally agree, Mom. Buster goes home, we flip the mattress, it's never happened. Not Buster. Read this. Did you and Dad adopt a child? The SEC was on to us. Your father thought it would make us look charitable. 
He must have forged my signature. Well, then maybe I'll get a son who will finish his cottage cheese. You've got to get me out of this. I'll call social services, but you must take Buster back. Okay. Great. But I'm not taking care of him. I, I don't have the milk of mother's kindness in me anymore. Yeah. That udder's been dry for a while, though, hasn't it? Kind of. And that's when she ran into her own awful mother. Look who tunneled out. What are you doing here? Lindsay, I thought you were a hooker. It's a wig. No one recognizes me. Oh, I recognize you. Let me rephrase that more kindly. I hear you're hooking now. I've got to put a stop to this. <laughs> I'm going to search every bloody hotel in town. Oh, Legoland. I think they said they were they going to... They did say Legoland. I didn't hear anything about Legoland. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. We think he may be mentally challenged. Huh? All right, then. Having found a way around the building's strict no-smoking policy... What is it about that lady? and the fact that her ankle monitor prevented her from approaching the balcony. Oh, I went down to the club and I, I could have... Slender and long, even her cigarette. Allure slender long smokes. Slender and long, smooth and stylish. My food was gone, I could... That restaurant typically is really nice. Allure slender long smokes, aromatically finished with the Type 3 slender tip. Lively, stylish, and now. Can't really remember the host's name, but he was. Allure, He's slender, kind of long smokes, designed to be modern, extra slender, with the stylish taste of where she's been, <laughs> never where she's been. Slender tip, smooth and stylish. Lady, that's allure. So, I. But I finally just ordered the strawberry shortcake, like I said, but I didn't want I didn't order spring. What is it? How can you treat me this way? Oh, please. <laughs> Everything I've said about you can be covered with makeup and a lie about a thyroid problem. Good grief almighty. You think I'm enjoying my slide into comedy? Sorry, Lindsay. There goes your dessert. Why don't you eat it, Mother? Why don't you just... Take this cake and shove it! Hey, who called the cops? <laughs> How the hell did you even find out about Sleeping Beauty here? It was an anonymous tip from someone who cares about Buster's life. It's not ringing any bells. So what do you want me to do about it? Don't take that tone. He's my son. I want you to make him stop calling me. Buster's taken up with that Lucille, too. That's why you called me here? I... I've gotten my secretary bringing over a bunch of important papers because I thought this was urgent. Well, it's all your fault. You're the one who insisted he get away from Mother. Well, I wasn't trying to send him to a new one. Where is he? He's on the balcony. Buster? <laughs> Hum's becoming a little controlling. What tipped you off? Once she locked you out on the balcony again? That was half my fault. I thought I saw a graham cracker out there. You baited the balcony? Prove it. I'm worried about her. Did you get the corkscrew? So there's gonna be wine at the rehab, huh? <sighs> well, wine only turns into alcohol if you let it sit. How do you come up with these? All right, Mom, I'll be sure to tell Buster. Right. Hi. Mom wanted me to tell you that she doesn't care whether you live or die, but if you're not dead, she would like to see you at the courthouse tomorrow in the blue sweater. Close your eyes tight and plug your ears. <laughs> Just plug one ear and press the other one to the couch. Mm -hmm. But after three months, Lucille was ready to desert her youngest son. Mother! Stop! Mother! No, Father! If the alarm goes off and they catch you, they'll take you away forever! I can't take it anymore. I have to get out of here. I don't care. I can't keep playing guess my fur six times a day. I need a smoke. Right to the smokes, huh? Give me a minute. Let me catch my breath. Good grief, Mother. Not all homosexuals are flamboyant. Oh my god, I have the exact same blouse. This is Michael's twin sister, Lindsay. I like it better on him. That's what his children are for. Yeah, well, you know, there are certain things that he can't get from his children. If you're going to say pride, Michael, you're wrong. He is proud of his children. Wasn't going to say pride, Mom. You're the only child who chose a spouse that I liked, and she's the one who had to die. I know, that's that's rough for you. And I'm not going to leave him home alone with all this J-U-I-C-E around. I can spell, Mom. 
You spelled juice. Oh, you're so brilliant. Let's see you find it. Besides. Really? Were you expecting somebody else? Maybe uh, one of your two daughters? Oh, Lindsay and Tobias never visit. <laughs> We're so bad. I, I, I actually meant Lindsay and Nellie. You call them that, too? Oh, it's so nice to be able to talk like this. Where's Dad? Buster. Hey, brother. Uh, Mom said you could tie this for me. Make it long so Buster doesn't seem so round. How is it? We're waiting for the doctor. I just pray it's one of those things where he's unconscious throughout the entire trial, and when it's over, he wakes up and gets a big toy. Wait a minute. Are you responsible for this, Mom? Did you put one of your sons into a coma so that he can't testify? Michael, how dare you? Of course it crossed my mind, but this was all Buster. He got into your brother's pills. Oh, should I know where the money comes from? I just know where it goes to taking care of my poor comatose son. And if this were the real trial, I'd cry here. I'm saving my good stuff, too. Okay, faker. I'm cutting the cord. I'll see you at the snack machine. Scare. Did somebody say, let's give him a scare? <gasps> What is the matter with me, clumsy Clara? Totally cool. Didn't feel a thing. You know, Mom, I'm crazy about this aspirin. Shouldn't Buster be spending his evenings with women that aren't so much his mother? He's a beautiful boy. They don't appreciate him. It's his glasses. They make him look like a lizard. Plus, he's self-conscious. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, you're not wearing that. You're running to fill a house seat, not a sofa. You know, I'm starting to worry you're not even capable of saying something nice about me in your speech. Lindsay, saying nice things about you is easy. Oh, the hard part is not sounding sarcastic. Oh, no, seriously, go change. That outfit shouldn't even come in that size. He's out of control. Hold on. I'm back. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, no. This is An Yang, who your father and I have adopted. Well, I'm, I'm gone for a couple days and you find a new son? Lucille could see that her son was concerned, even jealous, and she knew how it felt to be overlooked. Yes. An Yang is your brother now. An Yang. Yes, An Yang. Excuse me? Uh, Michael? Call it off. I'm keeping him. You're going to be in charge of the house from now on, OK? The cooking, the cleaning, all of it. You're going to put Lindsay in charge of the cooking? At least you'll lose weight. You know, Mom, I think the only time you ever cook for us is the morning Rosa's mom died. You gave us cereal in an ashtray. And I think with you, I've got a shot. Oh, no. What, Buster, for the first time ever, doesn't want to do this? No, no, he does. It's just, he's been so mopey. Well, that could have something to do with the fact that a seal ate his hand. I don't know what it is. I think that's what it is. Oh, no. Mrs. Bluth, there's absolutely no room. Come on, I've suddenly lost my appetite. Oh, who's gonna believe that? And the next morning, the family met at Buster's send-off party, where Lucille was not keeping her feelings hidden. A camcorder. That's so you can videotape it when they put you in a naked pyramid and point to your Charlie Browns. It's not fair to Buster. He's a nervous wreck right now. He's going into the army, for God's sake. You volunteered him. I knew you were going to throw that in my face. Fine. I'll ask Michael. He'll give it to me. Well, maybe if you get him drunk. It's the only way he'll give money to someone he calls a stay-in-bed mom. <sighs> he said that about me? I thought it was harsh. But, you know, he thinks you're completely irresponsible. A stay-in-bed mom. Probably because you don't work and you're lazy. Oh, his words. Your company's being accused of profiting off the building of houses in Iraq. That's crazy. We're all loyal Americans. Oh, yeah. Would you enlist your son or daughter in the Army? Yes. She was better off with us. He wanted to call her Nellie. Of course. Lindsay is a Nellie from the photo. Why didn't you just tell people that she was adopted? Adopting a child we didn't want just to stick it to a competitor? Oh, that'd make us look great. You're right, Mom. People would have twisted that story to make it look bad. I don't see what the big deal is. We loved her just as much as any of you normal kids. More than Job. 
You know, Mom, if you're if you're not gonna bail out Buster, the least you can do is go visit him. And risk having the story come out that I went to a prison to visit my son before the election? That would be very bad for Lindsay's campaign. I was gonna say the exact same thing. No, that's not a spinner. So this is how my children speak of me when I'm not here. Well, what are you doing here, Mom? Your brother Buster wants to meet me at the beach tomorrow. Do you know what this is about? Because if it's about going in the ocean, the answer is no, he's not going in the ocean. Well, there are bigger dangers, Mom, like, say, signing him up for the army during wartime. What the hell was I supposed to do? Michael Moore confronted me in front of the whole country. First of all, it wasn't Michael Moore. It was a Michael Moore look-alike, and it wasn't in front of the whole country. It was for a bit on Jimmy Kimmel Live. And Lucille found a way to force a wedge into her son's relationship. Lucille, guess who's coming to dinner? I've invited Carl to dine with us next Tuesday. Mother, you know I have class on Tuesday. Oh, how silly of me. Well, then perhaps the two of you can have dinner alone. Oh, well, I never say no to dinner with a beautiful lady, that is. Michael was concerned that the full impact of his departure might have been lost on his family. Hello, who is this? Yes, this is Dr. Blumen. I'm calling regarding Michael Bluth. Michael, phone! They think we're still there. Hey, is that Joe? It's an idiot on a scooter at night. It's gotta be Job. Let's give him a scare. Hmm? No, Mom, I, I, I don't think we should. A nice little scare. Hey, big shot! Go busy to go to your mother's party! Mom, that is not Job. Mom! Mom! <laughs>